In this mashup video, I'm going to use two different tools. The first tool I'm going to use is the awapp.com, and that is a whiteboard app. This mashup is also touchscreen computer compatible, so when I'm using the Aw app, I'm actually going to be using the touchscreen on my Lenovo device. The second tool that I'm going to be showcasing for this mashup is the Screencastify Chrome extension. So first, um, you need to be able to download the Chrome extension. So from the Chrome Web Store, if you don't know where that is, on your Chrome browser up in the um, upper left-hand corner is the Apps icon, and then the Web Store is right here. So click on the Web Store. And we are going to be searching for an extension, and it's Screencastify. And it's this extension right here. If you already have it down downloaded, then it's going to say rate it. If you don't, then there's going to be a blue free button that's right here. And you would simply just click on it and follow uh, the prompts to uh, install it. So let's go back to the Aw app. Dot com. And so from here, I'm going to um, stop using my mouse and start using my uh, touch screen on my computer. So I'm going to start a drawing and I'm kind of going to just guide you through what the uh, web whiteboard looks like. You have different colors that you can choose from. I'm going to keep a uh, black for right now. If I touch on the pencil, I can do a, a thin, a medium, or thick. I can also do text, and I have an eraser. And then on the menu, there's a clear, which is going to clear the entire whiteboard. I can invite people. So when I click on this, it's going to give me a URL. If I share this URL, then I am inviting people to come into my whiteboard, and so we can collaborate together. That is a great feature for students uh, to be able to work on problems together. And then if I go back to the menu, I also have the ability to post. I'm going to ignore this because it's I'm really posting on social media. And for this demonstration, getting students to do, um, you may or may not want them posting. And then there's also a save icon. But in my case, I am using the Screencastify, so we're going to save it a different route. So now, um, say that I'm a student and my teacher has given me the assignment of doing a math problem and wants me to be able to show my understanding and talk through the problem at the same time. So that's what this mashup, mashup is for. I'm showing how I as a student can write a problem and using the Screencastify extension, I'm able to talk the problem through. So here we go. My teacher has given me the assignment of solving six and one third plus four six. So I know that I have to have the uh, denominators be the same. And the denominator is this bottom number right here. Let me change my color to blue. So I know that I need to um, get from three to six, I need to times a three by two. And if I don't times the denominator by 2, then I need to times the numerator by 2. So I'm going to change 6 and 1 thirds to be 6 and 2, 6, and then plus 4, 6. So I'm going to add my um, 2, 6 plus my 4, 6. And in that case, I know that I'm going to get 6, 6. And then the 6 is just going to transfer over and be the same. Well, I know that 6, 6 is equivalent to one whole. So really, this is um, saying 6 plus one whole, which equals 7. So my answer is 7. I'm going to change my color and my font size, um, or sorry, line size, and that is my answer. So I have now used Screencastify to mash up a web uh, whiteboard app and the extension in order to share my understanding of the problem. So now I'm going to show you how uh, you are going to transfer this. So if you are uh, recording, then when you come up here, um, it is if it's red, it's showing that it's already recording. If it's not red, then you would start the recording. I have already started it, so I can't really capture the way um, that it would look when you start a recording. 
But here's how you stop it. I'm going to click on the Chrome extension Screencastify, and I'm going to click on Stop Recording. For the sake of this one, I'm not going to stop it because I want to show you uh, what you do. When you hit Stop, it's going to open up a new tab. In this tab, this is where you have the ability to name your uh, your Screencastify. So this one is going to be my math problem. Um, say number one, and then I have the ability to crop it, which means that I can only use a portion of it. I can save it to my computer using the save to disk, but in this case right now, I'm going to hit share because when you hit share, you have two options. Um, if you're a teacher or a student that has ability to upload into YouTube, then you can upload into YouTube. Here, it's going to ask you to choose your channel. So if you have already um, chosen your channel, then you can upload. If not, you can add a channel. And what's going to happen is it's going to have a pop-up that um, appears that's asking you to add an account. I have already... Um, put my accounts in there, so I'm going to ignore this. Another great feature is I can upload it straight into Drive. So say that I want to upload it into Drive, I want it to be unlisted, and I click Upload. Over here on the very um, right hand side, it's going to show you that it is starting to upload. When it gets done uploading, it's going to show right here that uh, here is the web address that I can use. If I go over to my Drive, um, when you download the Screencastify extension, you are going to have a folder that is automatically created for you. So when I clean, excuse me, when I click on the Screencastify, here is the math problem number one. I can go up here, click on share, and share this with my teacher or I can share the entire folder of Screencastify with my teacher. And so anytime that a problem gets put in there, it automatically inherits those permissions so that every Screencastify video is shared with my teacher. And that is how you mash up a web whiteboard and a Chrome extension.